thinking it out. If you see doubt, I'm thinking that y'all better reroute. Cause I'ma walk these dogs till Mike Vick get out. I'm thinking I could take over the game. Maybe I could. They saying I should change and maybe I should. Baby girl, I'll be with you if I could. But I'm taking over the world and it's so far, so good. Uh, so far, uh, so good. Uh, so far, uh, so good. What are the ten versions of manhood? People uh, wonder, concerning boys and to men, uh, what it is we're doing here. Some people have even asked us uh, whether or not we believe that we are really making a difference in these young men's lives. I'm trying to get God into my life because I never really like felt his presence, so I'm trying to understand his word and take the path of a man. Okay, what's your definition of courage? Courage is doing something that no one else is doing, like peer pressure, let's say some people are uh, having drugs or whatever, you have to have the courage to say no. Real man is basically what, what they've been teaching us, um, how to make key decisions, how to lead someone other than yourself, how to have self-pride, not too much pride, but enough pride for you to carry yourself, how, how to not only not just depend on the on your friends in the world, but also depend on the God that, that sacrificed his life for us. Now you want to hear me say what you know I should. I talk about fake character and integrity. But don't you dare question me, cause I got the truth you see. If I look up into the heavens above, I see the Holy Spirit coming down like a dove. There is no question in my mind that God is using us to write on these young men's hearts in a way that will never be erased. Just the sheer fact of them being able to gather in a place like this with men who love them, who love God, and who truly want for God's best plan to be, to be realized in their lives. Well, you can't even measure it until you see them when they come back with the law degrees and doing the different things they do, maybe in sport or even talk shows or whatever. That's when you really see the, the big picture. You need to decide what's going to be in that heart, what's going to be in your spirit, and you need to make a choice. And you need to keep it there the rest of your life because you never know the day or the hour. What is the password? <laughs> the password is God's word. Not just to have it and read it, but to... to, to Implement it in your life. It has so many, so much fruit in there to use as your daily walk. And no matter how old you get, there's always some things in there. To, there's always going to be some things in there to use to apply to your life how to live. Um, you might not understand everything, but I gotta say, pray and seek Him first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all things will be added unto you. Strength, even your faith, will be increased because of the words you put inside of you. Use that word; it's your friend. And that's what this ministry is about. It's about men laying before God and allowing him to use us to write on the heart of a boy so that the boy has a chance of becoming not just an adult male, which happens with the passage of time, but becoming a man, which happens when he chooses to put away childish work. And so far, so good, uh, so far, uh, so good, uh, so far, uh, so good, uh, so far, uh, so good, uh, so far, so good. Uh, so far, so good.